to London and talk to Professor Martin Jocks. He's the author of the global bestseller, When China Rules the World, The End of the Western World and the Birth of a New Global Order. Thank you for joining us, Mr. Jocks. China and Britain signed business deals worth billions of dollars on Wednesday. They've talked about a golden era of bilateral ties. Uh, how do you interpret this golden era? Well, I think there's been a very profound shift in the thinking of the British government in its relationship with China. It started earlier this year in April when, out of the blue almost, uh, the British government decided publicly to join the uh, Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank, uh, much to the surprise of everyone. And uh, this clearly signalled a major shift in thinking. Um, and there's now a far greater investment and a very positive engagement uh, with China. Now, Mr. Jocks, are there any challenges do you see to the deepening of China-UK ties? Well, I mean, I think at the moment uh, it, it, it's difficult to know what's going to happen. I mean, I, th th this government is re in a relatively strong position. I think the key figure in it, in this new strategy towards China, is probably George Osborne, the Chancellor of the Exchequer, but definitely supported by David Cameron, the Prime Minister. So, uh, and they dominate uh, the Conservative Party and the Cabinet and so on. So I think that uh, for the foreseeable future, this policy is, um, is, very, is very secure. I mean, it would be wrong, though, uh, to uh, think that everyone uh, is of their view about the relationship with China. This is probably the biggest foreign policy shift in Britain since 1945. And there's large sectors of uh, uh, the society that have that wouldn't go all the way, would have reservations, would think, you know, are, are constantly talking about um, human rights in China and so on. Um, but I think that uh, I think this is really it should not be underestimated the significance of this. I mean, I would actually describe this as Britain's pivot to China. Mr. Martin Jocks, speaking to us from London, thank you.